So let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You say, one, two, three, God in your name, you've been the midst of them. We now invite you to see the present Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in all truth. Father, we, we take this day and celebrate in our country, in this country, Father's Day. And, and what we want to do is to recognize and honor you as the Father of all things, glory to God. And, and we thank you for being the provider for all of us to seek you. And I, I like what the word says, seek you first. So we seek you and we thank you that we have a fellowship and relationship with you. And we're talking about those who believe and submitted themselves and, and allowed Christ, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, to be our savior, our deliverer, so that we can be connected back to you. I thank you and we praise your holy name as we get into your message today. Move us out of the way and the Holy Spirit have his way to teach us and guide us in all truth. In Yeshua, Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. That's where we follow up. That's where we make a uh, mistake. So what, what I want to be able to do, and I'll come off this real quick, uh, and then I'll come right back on. What I want to do is to go over and equip the saints, all of us, all of us, to include me, to equip us to do the work of the ministry, to, to, to understand the power of the ministry is to understand that the only true power is the relationship and having God the Father fellowship with him through our Lord and Savior Christ, Joshua, Yeshua, Jesus. They have that fellowship. See, that, that relationship is not, and, and that's why it's so important, please. The relationship is not based on color of skin, not based on party affiliation, not based on wherever you come from, whatever country you're part of. It's not based on nationalism. It's based on a relationship with him. And the Bible said in John 1, 12, John 12, it says one, chapter one, verse 12, it said, he who led by the spirit of God, are the children of God. We don't want to be led by parties. We don't be led by the color of our skin. We don't want to be led by nationalism because I'm telling you, all these things contribute to the itching of the flesh but not to satisfy under the spirit. So what we're going to do today is to kind of quote, look at these scriptures and just try to listen, read those scriptures before you so you can, can, can grow in the things of God. That's what I think is important. That's all I'm saying is for me and for you is what does the word say? You have to be spiritual minded. You have to be word minded. Because that's what, that's what delivers all of us, is the word of God. Not people, listen, it's not to exclude people, but it's not to allow people to be ahead of our fellowship with God, the Father, the Holy Spirit, Christ, the anointed one. That must be. In ministry, please get people to understand that fellowship must be with God, the Father. And we can't use the tools of the enemy to please the Father. The scripture said that some people will be killing other believers, thinking they're doing God the Father's will. And he said, I ain't called you. Listen, I didn't call you to hate people. I didn't call you to put people down. I didn't call you to kill people. I didn't call you to be so rude and, 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 and just uncaring. I didn't call you to do that. I called you, and matter of fact, I told you first to go preach the good news, the gospel. We're sitting there putting people down, sitting there trying to hate people because of the, the color of the skin and stuff. You know that's not lining up with the will of God because he didn't call you to do that. He didn't call you to sit there and, 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 and be so angry with people because of what you heard. Not because of what you see, but what you heard. And then you, you, you propagate that, you propagate the, the divisions and, 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 and political divide and all these other things because 
you know, uh, minister told me that. What did God tell you? I think that's important, right? What did God tell you? Because if you don't understand what God tells you, if you don't sit there and say what God says, if you can't sit there and point to the word of God, but you sit there and point to people, then you, you, you're missing a whole boat. You know, we were talking about this, we were talking about this in the, uh, they call it the big lie, you know? And I know some of you, oh, we talk politics. You talk politics. If you live it and you base your personality and you base your attitude and your ways based on politics, Opposed to ba basing your ways, your attitude, your character, your nature on, in, in the things of the gospel, then you do have a problem. And like I said, most people are saying, he said, you will have no other gods before me. A lot of you should have said, no, that, 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 that policy ain't, ain't got nothing to do with relation with God. Yes, it does. If it goes against the will of him. It's his will. Thy will be done. A lot of people sit there and you got the political divide dealing with, with abortion. But you don't sit there and understand that that's when you say thou shall not murder, you also can remember thou shall not bear false witness. And then also when we talk about murder, the Bible said that he who hated his brother is a murderer. And he said, no murder has eternal life, the Bible said, yeah. So if you hate people, if you hate your brother because he has a different political opinion, then, then you, you missed it. If you sit there, if, and then if you sit there and deal with murderers, people and, and that do actually murder, those who do actually hate, and you'll give them more balance than your brother in Christ. If you give more, you give more to the color of your skin than Christ, you walk in the darkness. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's equip ourselves, right? by the word of God today, amen? So happy Father's Day, and let's go on this ride. Let's go on this, let's go on this ride concerning the word of God, amen? All right, let's go ahead and, and uh, share the screen. Get into the word of God today. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Go by the word. Don't run away from the word. Let the word hold itself and stand for itself, amen? Can you, so the question today on Happy Father's Day is, can you fellowship with God and walk in darkness? That's the, that's the question, isn't it? Can you fellowship with God? And is it important to fellowship with God? Well, if you call him your father, then, then that's fellowshipping with him because you have a relationship with him being a child of God, having a relationship with your father, God the Father, amen? All right. So let's go real quick here. He said, walk in love. And I know that, you know, I had one of my friends sit there and said, you know, when we talk about walk in love, we think it is, a, is to give people the permission to do wrong, to give people to do anything they want to do. And I don't know what that means, but I can tell you this, none of us can tell somebody what to do. None of us. We can encourage people. We can try to influence people, not by not by the anger and hate and, and shame. That, that's one of the things in ministry sometimes people use, try to use shame as a weapon just to get them to do what you want them to do. And that's why all those atrocities we know about, we talked about, we see it, we talk about something even today, all based on shame. Trying to control people based on shame, but Let's go with what the scripture says, because that's the will of God that matters, isn't it? In Ephesians 5, verse 1, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. That's why when it says children, that's a relationship between you and God. So God the Father, God the Father, that's a child, a relationship with a child and his father. You are the children of God, unless you are the children of a political party, children of a ministry, children of, try, you know, some people, children of people. And I ain't talking about you natural. I'm talking about some people that want to be children of somebody else, right? You know, but the point is said is to be children. If you're children of God, then God is the father. And he said, walk in love. 
not walk in hate. And you got people walking in hate, ministry teaching people walk in hate, political parties teaching people walk in hate. But he said, walk in what? Love. That's his will for us to walk in love. That's his will for us. That is not a suggestion. That is him saying, walk in love. And that's, that's consistently done throughout the Bible. Walk in love. As Christians, as anointed people of God, as Christ has also loved us and has given himself for an, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a sweet smelling savor. But look at this, but fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. So if you walk in hate and you walk in, in, in disaster and lack of mercy and lack of love, he said you don't need that be you don't need to be have that name part of you as a saint. He said neither filthiness nor foolish talking. That's that we're talking about foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know that no whoremonger, no unclean person, no covetous man no, who is an idolater, idolater has any inheritance, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. You know, my, my slide here uh, behind me in my background, it, it talks about the importance of the kingdom of God. You see, to my, to my, I guess it, this is my right hand, but for the screen, it's, it's, it's looking opposite, right? To the screen to my right is it walking in the kingdom of God, right? That's what we want to. And it's interesting, I, somebody, did, did you catch that piece? Walking in the kingdom of the anointing. And to, we'll go back to that scripture, to walk it in the kingdom of the anointing, to walk in the kingdom of the anointing. And as we go into the word of God, we want to be able to make sure we capture and read these words distinctly. So that's the first time I caught that. I don't know about some of you, walking in the kingdom of Christ, in the kingdom of God. They're the same. But the fact is, walking in the anointing, huh? the anointing, that's what Christ, do we call yourself Christians? Christ means Christ like. That's what Christian means. Or Christianity means Christ like. We have some people hijacked. <laughs> some people have hijacked it. Try to look. No, you have tried to hijack Christianity to, to, to meet your needs and meet your hate agendas. But you know what? You can't hijack the, the, the body of Christ. You can hijack ministries and you can put on the facade. You can do all that all day long. But the true body of Christ has that mercy, has that love. And if you're showing hate and you're showing division based on political party affiliation, based on the color of your skin, you, you, you can call yourself a Christian all day long. But a tree is known, everybody listen, a tree is known by its fruits. That's in Matthew 12, 33. He said you to make the tree good and its fruit good, or you make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. You are known not by what you call yourself. You are known based on the fruit that you bear. Amen? And that's that's what the scripture says. And that's why I like that scripture to the right of me now, as far as you're looking at it. It's to the left of me. But, but for you, <laughs> it's to the right. And it says, Nehemiah 8, verse 8. So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and cause them to understand the reading. It is important for us to understand the reading and the will of God, which is found in the word of God. Because when you listen to people, you're gonna find out that people will point you in a direction that's opposite of what the will of God is, just to meet a political agenda, just to meet the national, you know, be a nationalist of some type, or just to be somebody who, who's hate and, 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 and lie. Let's go with the will of God. 
You are supposed to read the word yourself and listen to what the word is saying. So when somebody does something opposite said, it is written. You want to get to that point where you better say it is written to love. Some of us like to see, you know, like when you lean back toward the commandments and then you sit there and think you can only be get your high ground based on the Ten Commandments and yet you don't follow the Ten Commandments. Because if you don't follow the Ten Commandments, but you say you do follow the Ten Commandments, if you want to ride on one part of the Ten Commandments and forget the rest of the part of the Ten Commandments, you're deceiving yourself and you're trying to deceive somebody else. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. 